Hi guys, Vex here, and welcome back to Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Uh, I'm glad you guys seem to like this game, so I think I will LP it. <clears throat> Alright, last time we left off, we were still derping around the spawn village. We hadn't wandered too far. Uh, and I'm broke as a joke, but you know what? We're level 3. And... Somebody told me in the comments last episode that when you take the shield option, it reduces your threat to zero, making my repost strategy not work quite like how I wanted to, but it, it should still work if I just attack with her, or maybe do um, some other attack. Uh, but anyway, let's go do what this game is about, and let's fight some enemies here. We have a quest. We can travel. I think before I travel, though... Uh, I want to fight some more monsters, so let's add some rat traps, and this should be a pretty easy battle. Let's see how fast I can get these guys down. Yep, there goes a repost. Alright, uh, let's kill the six and the four, hopefully. No. Another comment was that uh, when the game gets more challenging, I'll need to pay more attention to turn order to try to... Uh, oh, I got a piece of lettuce! Yeah! <laughs> uh, pay more attention to turn order so that way I can fight enemies that uh, are about to go. And so if I do that, then they won't get to attack, which is... that's common sense. So uh, this guy's going first. Decoy. Uh, that might not be a bad idea. Uh, so if he's going first, then I'd want to hit, uh, ideally the second one here, but, uh, I'm not going to get to because they're in the back row, so the next one may be this fourth one here, if I kill that one, so then it'll be two, three, four, uh, it'd be smart to get my warrior to kill the fifth one here, so it doesn't get to attack. And then the one, and your two. And there goes the repost, and it's dead. That was pretty quick. Oh, I got a loincloth. Ooh, very fancy. I should put the cheerleader in a loincloth. Uh, repost, please. Oh my gosh, threat plus four now? Wow. That's nice. Alright, what can I get you? Ambush? Mm -hmm, yep. Uh, I feel like I should keep putting points in the passive because it's... or this. This is nice too. Oh, it adds to the energy cost? Well, that's poopy. I was kind of hoping it would make it cheaper. Uh, I bet Hail of Arrows, if you put points into this, it would be very nice. Same with this, actually. I, th I think putting points in anything is going to make it a lot better. Uh, well, I've already got one point in this. Let's see what it does. And one damage. That's not... That's okay. Ambush. Decoy. The thing is, like, I don't want him distracting from the warrior's repo strategy, really. I'd rather just have him doing lots of damage. Um, so I think, I think I'm going to start funneling points into Hail of Arrows. I assume these two stats here can both level up, like, two damage, it'll go more than two damage, and then more than two random enemies, so we'll see. Uh, I hope there's an option to respec. Maybe. Hopefully. That'd be nice. But we'll see. Alright, so the quest is to, let's start this quest. Hello, heroes. Can you help us a bit? Lately, our pristine river has begun to stink horribly, and the famous traveling craftsman is on his way to our village. It must be perfect when he arrives, okay? Maybe there's something wrong upriver? Okay. We're going to the meadows. Uh, Alright, let's go investigate. Oh, look at this cool little world map. Uh, the leader is the adventure journey travel business. So, I want to actually... S I'd like to save up some money and buy that table to put more monsters down. I think that'd be nice. Uh, please degree ancient travel. Okay. Let's try. Oh, it takes some money to travel. Oh, I rolled a three and I get ambushed. 
by, but fortunately it's by like some stupid that just dies in one hit. Wow, really? Great. <laughs> Alright, well we're at the meadows, uh, so let's take a look. Yeah, so we are there. So now if we camp, we actually have a chance of uh, running into enemies while we're trying to rest. Troglodytes are bathing in the river. The water bubbles and they seem to be having a lot of fun. Wait, are they... Relax, fellas. Come along. Shall we? Kill two trigger. That's so easy. We got this. A piece of cake. I hope we got this. They seem to be slow, though. Nah, I'm killing them in one hit. Uh, I don't know if this will be worth it. Let's just hit this guy going fifth. Not a single repost? Oh, there's one. Yeah, that was easy. Ah, 450 XP and 9 gold. And I got a piece of lettuce! Yes! I gotta get that lettuce. Oh, look at that XP gain. Uh, let's try resting. I rolled a one. Alright. So we beat the quest. Uh, no. I want to do that fight again, I think. I want more gold because it takes money to uh, travel. Oh, look at that. A viper, a beast swarm, a troglodyte. Let's add a troglodyte and a viper. And another viper. Yeah, let's fight these guys. Oh, this looks like an interesting encounter. Oh, jeez, he's poisoned. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done this encounter. And all of a sudden, I'm getting, like, stunned and stuff. It's no bueno. Alright, well, one snake is dead. I'm not really worried about the troglodytes. They don't hit that hard. I'm worried about the snake. The snake is hitting hard. Alright, can we... try to get this snake out of here? Ah, crap. Man. How do I res you? Well, this is cool, because I've never had to res somebody before, so now I'm really... I'm curious to see how it's done. I wonder if that means he gains XP or not. Meanwhile, the cheerleader is just out there doing work. Oh, enemy diversity bonus. That's cool. Ah, no, they're out of sync and XP. That bugs the crap out of me. Then a pommel strike. Uh huh. Cleave. Nope. Repost. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, well, let's get out of here now. Now I'm willing to get out of here. Let's go back to. Let's make it back to town. So how do I res you? Oh. Three gold. Really? That's all? That wasn't so bad. Maybe it's based on their level or something. That would make sense. Uh, it sucks that he missed out on uh, the fight. He's in need of refreshments. Wait a minute. He looks like the dude from Mythbusters. He looks like Jamie. <laughs> Yay! Well, at least they're both level 5 now, but they're way out of sync. Oh, that bugs me. Alright, what's this? 2 damage to 2... I guess? That's four damage to two random enemies. So that's better. Alright. Uh, now what? 
Can we, can we fight rat traps? I don't think so. It's, that doesn't give us much. Um, ooh, look at this! Branching quests! Let's try this. Collect items dropped from monsters and gain 50% more gold. I want gold. Get some apples. Okay, elf bikini chick. I'm a vegan and suddenly mad for apples. There's a lot in the roadside orchard near the meadows. Please? Uh, fine. Sure. We have to go to the meadows. Off we go! Oh, safe travel. I like the little horse. It's cute. Reminds me of Oregon Trail. Okay. Oh, so I've got to fight. Uh, vipers. Alright, let's trick two, because last time it was it was nasty. Damn it. Ow. They're so they do so much damage. Repost! Nope. Just kill him. I've got... Oh, i got green apples, okay. Man, that is rough. That's really rough. I'm gonna have to rest after this. Alright, let's rest. That sense roll, though. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of nervous on those vipers. They are tough, specifically because they poison you. And well, they they just hit like a truck. Like there's a big jump from the troglodyte to the viper. I think two is my comfort zone until they get level six. All right, uh, let's go after the. Well, uh, let's try. Well, is decoy actually gonna work? I don't think decoys are gonna even work because of the monster threat my warrior has now. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Green apple. Oh, he leveled. Repost. Alright, let's try again. Uh, let's have two of them. We can try three. I like that that free attack isn't very nice. Alright, let's kill the five. And then let's just mop him up like last time. Ow! Like that right there, critical and poison at the same time, it's just freaking wrecked. Do I have all the quest items yet? One more green apple. Uh, let's rest. Oh, really? We're gonna get attacked. Uh, what are we gonna get attacked by? Oh, pfft. get out of here. Just get out of here with that. Alright, uh... So, battle again, and now we need... I think we can, we can take on three, I think. Three's okay. Uh, let's go for number. Okay, the fourth one here. He's gone. All right. Ow! No, no crit me, please. No crit, please. Does that put him to get one shot by the warrior? I think the warrior can one shot each of them now. Nope. I should have just attacked too. Oh God. Oh, so much damage. That's where you use decoys to keep them alive. Now, now if they swing at them, it doesn't matter. Yep. Haha, <laughs> sucker. All 
Alright, so decoy is useful just... If no other reason, it makes him unkillable, I think. Unless you're fighting a mob of enemies. Dun, 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 dun. Are we done with the quest? Wait, what am I doing? Rest. Rest before anything. Alright, um... <laughs> I know, right? Uh, let's just try fighting a few more vipers. And let's see if we can get some more of those apples, because they looked like they were good healing items. And they seem to be dropping very quickly from uh, these survivors. They're totally Pokemon. You know what games I've always really enjoyed? The uh, Dragon Quest Monsters series. Uh, I really like those. Uh, I've been playing Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 2. I know, what a name, huh? Uh, for... I play the crap out of it. I have so much playtime on that. Oh, Brockman let us know. Poopy. Oh, he leveled up. Damage plus three. Targets plus... Yes! There, oh, there we go. Seven damage to three. Right? Yeah, it's getting a lot better. Yeah, I'm going to keep dumping points on that. That seems like a great move to help... To give to give my party some area of effectability. Um, okay. I think we're good to go. Travel. Damn it. Oh, pfft. Really? 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 Just, just get out of here. Just get out. Just, just die. Yes, thank you. When you come back, there are two people giggling with each other. You know, but this, I met a reptile that gave me a red apple. Uh, Eve? I'm not so sure you're supposed to be doing that. Fruit salad. Maybe you can get Eve to toss your salad. <clears throat> yeah, they're pretty good. Loincloth. Oh, I got another loincloth. Well, speaking of loincloths, let's take a look at the uh, initiative plus one. Or is this equipped? Oh, that's right, it's a trinket. You already have one? Wait, what? Oh, it's just what I'm high. Oh, pff, I'm so derpy. That's just what I'm highlighting. Initiative plus one. Oh, she's got the... One extra percent gold! Gotta get the... Uh, let's equip that. Okay, cool. That's a nice little healing item. Well, I'm glad we got to. I'm glad we got to keep those. Why is he so? Oh, uh, he's just got his mouth hanging open. Ah, yes. All right, that was cool. Um, da -da -da quest. Uh, what else is there? Fifty percent. Yeah, sure. Let's do this quest too. We're doing side quests. All right. A uh, group of people spawn from the circle. They seem vaguely familiar. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool! Uh, what should we do now? Uh, the new... <laughs> this mage tries to cast a spell! Uh, is he gonna cast Magic Missile at the darkness? We need your help. What's wrong? As you may have noticed, a group of new players have just arrived. Isn't that what this place is for? Yes, yes, but the meddling of the Paper Knight had some lingering effects. It seems some of the random encounters are way too difficult for first-time players. Uh-oh. The other party has been stranded in the meadows facing monsters way too difficult for their skills and level. I fear that if they're not helped, they may be scarred for life and never play another role-playing game again. <laughs> oh, we can't have that. Let's go save them. Alright, we got this. I love that little horse icon. It's so derpy looking. Okay. Let's do this. Wait. These should be within their skill range. They're not that strong. It 
looks like these have about 10 HP. Oh yeah, you can see their health. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. I just learned something. <laughs> All right, you got this. You got this, Hunter. Do it. Yes. Efficient battles. Efficient use of mechanics and moves. Oh, I love it. I love it. Makes me happy. <laughs> Good God! Threat plus eight. Uh, let's see. Well, we need to fight more troglodytes. I'm gonna fight five just because they're so easy. Fire missiles! Do your repost, damn it. Or just kill him, it's fine. There you go. Fire missiles! I fired the missiles. Whack. That beat the quest? Wow, how'd you do that? Well, you just need to... Uh-huh, yep. No, you just make your video game numbers bigger than the enemy's video game numbers, and then you win. Uh, let's camp here, rest up. Fail our sense rolls. Get attacked. Awesome. Bye. Trash mobs. Get out of here. Oh. Ding. Fries are done. Yeah, I'm not super worried about um, one big enemy so much as I'm worried about getting swarmed with crap. Damage plus two. Yes. Nine damage to three. That's really good. Yeah, that's getting really good. Alright, uh, let's get out of here and travel back to town. Quest. And we have uh, one more quest left here. Let's have a look at what it is. Actually! I'm gonna do this, just because it's amusing. FIRE MISSILES! Oh, look at that. Oh, how far we've come. I used to have to expend effort to kill these. Yeah, we're, we're a lot stronger now. Uh, anyway, uh, I think I'll take a break here. And we will continue with the main quest on Episode 3. Thank you guys for watching me do some side quests in Episode 2. And I'll see y'all next time. Until then... As always, take it easy.